first view models yeah. you have questions about the view models in this approach yep so uh, starting with the view model firstly uh, as we are going through this i would like a general review on uh, what is good what is bad what could have been done in a different way so one one takeaway over here is that the view model that i have created is very specific to my view controller so you will notice uh, i have two arrays one top three players and one list players so this will always work with a view controller which can uh, you know uh, divide the screen into the top three and the bottom list so um you know like uh, uh, this is uh, one of the uh, one of the things uh, the second thing is that uh, whenever i load the view model it uh, it only tells the view controller to refresh and the view controller at that point will check the state of the view model and will do some logic so over there there's actual ui logic which i have not tested so if somebody doesn't do it in the right way it could kind of cause an issue okay so let's see here we have a view model that controls here the state for this view right it manages yeah. it talks to a leaderboard provider that probably will make a network request get mm -hmm. the leaderboard and then you would transform it into leaderboard player view models yeah and you are controlling here this the state of you either have three at the top or you have just a simple list yeah uh, with this well, actually the, yeah. yeah the view controller decides that uh, it'll check you know so my view model is like the source of truth so the view controller will check okay uh, i have top three so i should show the top three it's like that so it checks if this is not empty if the yeah. top three is not empty then it shows this special ui here at the top yeah okay and then the list players but what happens here if by mistake you put like four view models in this array here yeah so uh yeah so that's another question for the view model uh my view model, as I told you, is very specific to the view controller. So I have set up my view model to always load only three in, in that array. So, and I have written the unit test. So if anyone does make a, a change over there, my unit test will fail. So I've kind of protected myself over there. OK. So this is protected by unit tests, not by the type yeah. system. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. OK. So we have a test that every time, if you have three, this will be empty and you have all the three in the list players yeah if you have four there'll be three here and one in the list players and yes, so on exactly if you have yeah. two, two both will be here okay so it controls the state of the ui in the view model if mm -hmm. it's going to show things at the top or not yeah usually i i wouldn't do it like this i would keep only one array and the ui would decide how to display that in the ui instead of putting okay. this logic in the view model but it, it depends it also works this way but then, as you said, this view model will be very specific to that specific yeah. UI, yeah. right? So it's very coupled with that specific UI, the way it's designed. And it's fine if mm -hmm. you want to couple the view model with the UI. You just won't be able to use it in different contexts. But okay. if that's what you want, that's fine as well. Otherwise, you have one list of players, for example. Mm -hmm. And in the UI, you decide how to display it. For example, you can have a collection view layout that will check if there is more than three you will have a special layout for the first three and the rest will be normal. Okay. And then the view model only controls the, the state, the data. Mm -hmm. And the UI decides how to render that state. Make sense? Yeah, it does make and sense. Then you so, have a, uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Uh, so that does make sense. So that means I would have to decide a different kind of UI element to use, uh, like UI collection view. But at the same time, uh, um, all that logic would come into the view controller. So then now my view controller has uh, some kind of, uh, would I say business logic in that in that way? Like um, it would have business logic in the view controller as well. So yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much UI logic, right? Yeah. How to display something. Because you could use the same view model here to display the top three at the top here. And then you can have a, on the iPad, the designer can say, well, I want the top five. We will create a new view model. If you have this mm -hmm. kind of requirements where you want to have the same view model and adapt to different screen sizes, oh, if you 
like uh, change the orientation to landscape, I want to show the top five rather than top three because there's more space now. Right. Now, if the view model needs to know about orientation, then the view model starts getting too complex because it needs to know about the UI implementation details, about orientation, it needs to know about screen size, and at some point, you're going to have to pass the CG rec to the view model, and then your view model will start becoming more view than the model. <laughs> Right. Yeah, exactly. Right, that, so that was the really challenge depends. that I was using. Yeah. <laughs> so it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. But usually, I would keep one array and decide how to render that array in the UI. Because rendering is more UI, is more view logic than view model logic. And I would keep the view model logic just more focused on managing the state of the view. Now, how that is rendered, if it's animated, if it's using constraints, if it's using auto layout, if it's going to be pinned at the top or the bottom, that's a decision that I would do in the UI because that's about how it looks, not how it behaves, right? And I try yeah. to separate the, the behavior from the appearance. Appearance is more about view logic. Appearance is view logic. Makes All sense? Right. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. So. Uh, yeah, so that means uh, I just uh, move the whole um, creation of the arrays into the view controller, the two different arrays, which I would be feeding to either the table view or to the uh, to the top container view that I have, the top three. Yeah, that's an implementation details. You, do, you may not need three arrays, because if you have a collection view layout, for example, this is all decided in the collection view layout without different arrays. You have one array, and you have, and a, you have a, a list of cells a collection view a collection of cells but the layout for each cell is different and yeah. okay. this is one section but it just layout it differently it's just that here you are using a table view and a table view is just a static list of cells vertical but with collection views you can have like side by side cells horizontally vertically and you can mix and match everything right okay right so and then you can have one list we control it in the view model and just the layout changes for the cell. If it's the top three cells, they will have a different layout. And that's it, just the layout changes. But it's still part of the same section, it's still one list of things. Okay. And then you move away this view specific logic from the view model if you think it's going to be beneficial to you.